All right, we've got a whopper of an offer review here today, Aspect of Heimdall. We're going to go through that offer, see if it's something that might be worth your dollars. It's an expensive offer, so this might be for those who are bigger spenders in game, or it might be just for those who are not going to spend to see the direction of spending in Marvel Snap. I think it's an offer that we definitely need to pay attention to, so let's jump in. All right, so this offer here, the Aspect of Heimdall, obviously it's got two variants in it, both Pantheon variants. We've got Heimdall and Kraven. So, I mean, that's the first thing when you look at these is, are those attractive or not? Now for $75, I think even the biggest Krakens or whales, maybe, maybe the biggest ones wouldn't mind, but I think larger spenders are still gonna want a little bit more value besides the variants that they're gonna have in game. So we also get an avatar for each of them. And then obviously 155 boosters, we always get those. We also get 4,800 credits and 4,000 tokens. So the question is, are those amounts of items and currencies in Marvel Snap worthwhile for that $75 price tag? We don't get as much tokens anymore, so it's something to pay attention to. We'll look at the spreadsheet. We'll take a dive and see if this is gonna be a lot better. Is this something that you're gonna have to buy? And then obviously credits always help, but is it enough? So for those who are unaware, I have a spreadsheet where I track all the offers in game. I like to do this so that I can just kind of see general ratios, etc. Within this offer review spreadsheet, I have two different pricings. I have a token Tuesday pricing, which is for those cheaper spenders, typically the ones who at least used to buy the token Tuesday offers with their gold every single opportunity. And then I've got the $100 gold spenders. Those are people who will spend $100 every opportunity they can to buy this in order to use it on refreshing their daily emissions as much as possible and potentially getting as many credits as they can until they cap out every day. And they will do this as often as they can until the game won't let them spend the gold anymore. So they'll continue to do that every, I don't know, I think it's three to five days or so where they run out of their gold by using it on these as much as humanly possible. So those are our bigger, more expensive Krakeny spenders who just want to get as many credits as possible. Now, so within this, let's look at Aspect of Heimdall. We already talked about what was in it uh, as far as credits, boosters, tokens, da, 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 da. So the question becomes, how much are these worth? Let's see. So for a token Tuesday type spender, this offers worth about $150. For the bigger spenders, and it typically goes up when there's tokens in there, that's how this generally works, it's about 190 US dollars. That's a pretty hefty price tag. The actual cost is $75. Again, this is based on the base pricing on the game, which second dinner sets. So that doesn't necessarily mean, oh wow, it's you know 75 bucks. Look, if I, I give you a pencil and I say, look, my base pricing for this is $1,000, but I'm selling it to you today for 50 cents. Isn't that a deal? Well, maybe. Or if I say it's a $5 pencil now, isn't that a deal? Because it's normally $1,000. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a deal. It means you just set your base pricing so high that when it's cheaper that I might think that it's for sale and I have to buy it. And this is a tried and true marketing method in all industries, everywhere, everybody does it. Now, having said that, let's look at the percent discounts. So it's about a 50% discount for the token Tuesdays and 61% for the gold spenders. I think that's honestly pretty good. It's uh, something that I would normally look at and say, hey, that's an offer that I definitely would want to buy. More importantly here though, so as we're looking at this, just above the camera here, tokens per gold, this is the thing that we're sort of going to focus on, 0.82. Now, generally speaking, that's pretty good, but I'm going to scroll down all the way to my old Token Tuesday tracker. These are the old Token Tuesday tokens per gold. These are 0 0.8, 0 0.9. We've been conditioned to those for a long time. Those were considered semi-normal, right? So anything above that, we'd be like, yeah, let's get that. Now the new token Tuesdays, they are in this area where it's the 0.7. So when we look at this and it's a 0.82, honestly, I'm like, this should be a one. This should be a 1.0 or higher in my mind for this price tag. So I don't love that. So when I look at this, I mean, if we made this, let's make it 6,000 tokens. What is it? What would it get up to if it was 6,000 tokens? What, okay. And that's kind of what I was thinking. It's 1.1 tokens per gold uh, at 5,000. I was thinking it needed to be at least 5,000, but 6,000 would feel better. Yeah, I, I'd say 5,000 thousand plus so i don't love i think they're really sort of on the smaller end of this offer i don't love where it's at anywhere from five thousand to six thousand tokens i think should have been the minimum they put in here is what it is so that's my token analysis on it credits per gold this is pretty bad uh it's nice to get the credits in there it's definitely a bonus 0.7 is not a great 
uh, number as far as credits per gold goes. In base, when you do those refreshes that I mentioned earlier, that's about a 1.28 gain as far as credits per gold. This isn't anywhere near that. It's it's um, you know, half of it. So as I look at this, I'm just look i think that krakens whales they're gonna do what they're gonna do i want them to spend to support the game i think this is a fringe offer even for them though if i'm a kraken or whale i'm literally going like man i don't know like i don't this isn't this is not quite where i need it to be so i'd like for second dinner to adjust offers like this which you know inherently they're gonna do what they're gonna do i want them to make money etc so the game thrives but I'm not certain that this is attractive enough to get as many people as they probably could. I think that if this were a 5,000 or 6,000, I think 5,000 is still a little bit of a stretch, but if this was 6,000, I think they'd sell a lot more of these. I think they'd be a lot good. I know for me personally, I consider myself like a dolphiny type but i'm also a content creator so i can justify to my wife why i'm spending this money so it goes hey well wait a minute here and in this one i'm i'm personally and say that i'm not certain i'd buy this so my recommendation let's see what it ended up being i said whale probably buy here and that i think ties into sort of what i'm saying where it's a decent offer i think whales are gonna try to get tokens every opportunity they can i think it's got an okay amount of credits in it but i think at the end of the day even while these percent discounts are nice, I just look at these ratios because you got to remember that the percent discounts are based on base pricing that's set up by the person selling you the product, which doesn't necessarily make these sort of percentages the most important thing in game. This is. So uh, I don't know. Do what you're going to do. I want to support the game. I want the game to thrive again. But when I look at this, and you can see I've got a healthy amount of tokens that I've saved over time. So I'd still want these. So when I look at this, I'm really struggling to want to buy it. I am. I just, you know, I want the tokens. I want the credits to be able to get spotlights. Spotlights, you get one spotlight for every about 6,000 credits. So this is essentially a series. It'll save you from a series four spotlight this you get use these tokens to get one series four as opposed to spending spotlight cash it gets you closer to one spotlight cash so it's like 1.7 ish spotlight caches for 75 bucks i don't know i i think that's a high price point i do so i would like to see more value in this i will be curious to hear what even krakens think of this offer i'm gonna still say it's a whale probably buy because whales are gonna buy as much as they can and that's probably why it's priced the way it is is because second dinner wants to see exactly what they can get from folks and i want to jump back just while before i end this thing death becomes her that was the last 75 dollar offer same amount of tokens but we got 2000 gold 2000 gold's about a 35 dollar offer in game i think i'd rather have gold than you know 2300 credits or whatever it is i also wanted to go look at some future offers and this was the next big dollar offer that they've got coming this is not till november they didn't have anything that i saw in october this one's ten dollars cheaper you get a thousand more tokens you get two thousand gold and you only get what a thousand thirteen hundred less credits i mean this is clearly the offer that's going to sell to me when i look at these 75 65 dollar cost offers this is the one like this is the one that says yeah no this is what i'd spend money on i'll spend money on this so that's all we got a little bit longer offer review but i wanted to add in some future past sort of what are they doing with the economy what are they doing with their sales testing type aspects of this i think it's important for us to pay attention to to understand what they're doing and ultimately we want to know the offers that they're giving to the kraken types so that we know that the krakens feel incentivized or feel good about the money they're spending in game so that they spend more so that the other offers are cheap and the game thrives and we're all good and yeah 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 so that's why we dove in deep. Hopefully it's been helpful and you got a better understanding of this offer and some other offers in game. We appreciate you making this far. If you want to help support the channel, we appreciate you hammer down that like button. Until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.